Ukraine has been making steady gains around the embattled city of Bakhmut as Kiev tries to retake it. Ukrainian forces have killed hundreds of Russians stuck near Bakhmut over the last 24 hours. As the Ukrainians launched their counteroffensive, Kiev forces made promising gains northeast and southwest of the city in what appeared to be an eventual siege attempt. With Ukrainian troops on the flank, the Russian army in ruins was subjected to an artillery barrage from the southwest. An ISW report published on Wednesday notes that Ukrainian military sources are now claiming that Bakhmut is under siege and that the city and surrounding Russian supply routes are under fire control, meaning that all Russian troops are within range of Ukrainian weapons in the area. Every point. The US-based think tank said the development could mean that Ukraine found success in its plan to trap Russian troops inside the city. ISW said that Ukraine's tactics may severely threaten Russia's ability to maintain control of Bakhmut. Today, the armed forces of Ukraine successfully repelled an attempt by Russian troops to break through in the Bakhmut district. Commander of the Ground Forces of the Armed Forces of Ukraine Alexander Sirsky published a related video as Ukrainian forces professionally defeat the enemy and take positions. The Ukrainian armed forces also shared footage showing soldiers seizing the Russian trenches near Bakhmut. Ukrainian troops are seen exchanging fire with the Russian soldiers and throwing grenades to kill them. The video then shows smoke billowing from the trenches as Ukrainian soldiers throw grenades and rifle shots at the targets. From the attack, several Russians were killed before the rest fled in haste. In the southern region, the Ukrainian armed forces also managed to destroy four Russian tanks that were in operation. Ukrainian troops shared footage when four Russian tanks tried to seize Ukrainian positions, but thanks to the professional work of Ukrainian reconnaissance crews, four of these tanks were destroyed. During the night, crews of Ukrainian armed forces tank support combat vehicles also completed their task of shelling Russian positions near Abdiiv. During the hostilities, about 400 shells were fired at Russian positions. It should be noted that darkness creates optimal conditions for the operation of thermal imaging equipment, which ensures high accuracy in detecting and hitting targets. The variety of equipment used allows Ukrainian troops to fire not only on lightly armored vehicles, but also on more seriously fortified objects. For this purpose, an anti-tank missile system is used, which allows for an accurate and powerful strike. Night operations leave fewer opportunities for the enemy to detect sources of fire and respond with adequate counterattacks, which makes this tactic highly effective. To date, the Ukrainian defense forces have eliminated about to 35,020 Russian invaders, 540 of them in the last day. According to Russian media, Russian troops also managed to destroy a column of armored vehicles of the Ukrainian armed forces in the Zaporizhia direction. Russian published footage shows the defeat of the armored group of the Ukrainian armed forces in the Zaporizhia direction. The columns targeted by the shelling included Polish May T-72 tanks, American Max Pro and Oshkosh M at V armored vehicles, and Ukrainian Kozaks. All these technical means fall into minefields, which caused significant damage. Artillery fire was then directed at them, which proved precise and destructive. The footage also shows how the armored vehicles, one after another, fall into an ambush, causing serious damage. In a number of cases, the armored vehicles were completely destroyed, which indicates the power and accuracy of the shots fired. According to some assumptions, the minefield was created just before the arrival of the convoy of armored vehicles of the armed forces of Ukraine. In the Zaporizhia direction, the Russian military also destroyed the first Polish PT-9120 tank. This is evidenced by the corresponding video from the site of hostilities, which depicts the destroyed combat vehicles of the Ukrainian armed formations. Footage shows how the fire raged inside the tank while flames burst through the open driver's door. Meanwhile, Ukraine's summer counteroffensive has not gone as well as Kiev had hoped with troops trying to find weaknesses in Russia's fortified military lines along the broad border that divides the two countries. 
Between spring and early summer, Russian troops were able to prepare and reinforce their border positions along a 600-mile front, while the Ukrainian military needed time to plan its next offensive. It has allowed Russia to stand back and gain its own advantage on the front. An interactive map published by ISW shows that Russia actually controlled more territory than Ukraine during the current battle, including key areas such as the Netsk Oblast, Mariupol, and Kherson later hotbeds of fighting. The UK Ministry of Defense reported on July 6 that the Russian defense is around Bakhmut are now largely formed around airborne regiments normally stationed in western Russia, which normally act as an elite quick reaction force in the event of tensions with NATO. A British defense expert has rejected claims that the Ukrainian counterattack had failed and insisted it was making good progress. He added that the Ukrainian army was now adapting its tactics and developing limited success, but nothing major had changed. Zelensky's troops are currently pressing around Bakhmut in the east, as well as moving south and southeast from Milikanovo Silka and Vuliter in the Donetsk province. 